the transmission doesn't have any gears, how do you know it is shifting smoothly or even slipping? The answer is not going to be on feel or comparing it to an automatic transmission. The secret is to trust your scan tool more than the test drive. A CVT transmission has a multitude of sensors inside the case. These sensors measure the speed of the variators, positions of the stepper motors, and solenoids along with temperature sensors that collect all the data. The control system works hand in hand with the engine control module to ensure the right gear ratio for the load and speed. Think about a slipping transmission. If you're test driving the vehicle, the slipping can be felt as two things, a flare of engine RPM and a lack of acceleration. Ask yourself, how does a transmission control module sense the slipping of a CVT transmission? If the problem is a slipping belt or chain, you will look at the engine RPM and the speed sensors for the input and output variators. The transmission control module knows the commanded position of the variators. If the chain or the belt slips, the speed of the input will not match the expected speed of the output variator. This discrepancy would cause a transmission control module to set a code. Some codes will use the word plausibility error in the code description. This is what happens when these types of errors occur. The same is true with shutter in the transmission. The transmission control module will look at the crankshaft position sensor and the input and output pulleys. It will also look at the actions of the solenoids and decide if it needs to adjust the shifts or set a code. Think of it as a misfire monitor for shifts. Plausibility codes can be a sudden engagement of the clutches because there are multiple sensors that detect the rotational speeds of the inputs and outputs. As for codes, you will notice a sequence of letters and numbers that will start with the letter P, indicating a powertrain code. These will typically have a one or two or other numbers next. These numbers indicate if it's unique to the manufacturer of the CVT transmission and the vehicle. Some codes might have a letter in the third or fourth position. To decipher these codes, you will need service information or a scan tool with the correct software to interpret the name of the code.